Alexis Bledel and Kelly Bishop starred in the hit series Gilmore Girls as Lorelai, Rory, and Emily Gilmore, a mother, daughter, and grandmother with a very complicated relationship. Well, guess what? After nine years off the air, the show's highly loyal fans have gotten their loose ends all tied up with the long-awaited revival, Gilmore Girls, A Year, a year in, in the life. life. As for Lorelai and Emily's relationship, it's still complicated. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We want it to be. Take a look. I was starting to feel claustrophobic here. You know, I'd wake up in the middle of the night feeling like this house was closing in on me, like I couldn't breathe, you know? Oh, yes, I know. She tells you you have to take everything you own out and put it in piles on the ground. Then you pick up each possession and you hold it. If it brings you joy, you keep it. And if it doesn't, out it goes. No joy. Mom, he's taking the dining room chairs. They don't bring me joy. <laughs> we always say our joy is non-negotiable. Welcome. Lauren, Alexis and Kelly are all here. <laughs> so how was it? Was it when you were back on the set, was it just like old times when you when you got there? It was a strange, wonderful, yeah. eerie combination of just like old times, yeah. yet brand new, yet couldn't believe it. We talked about it for so long, and to finally get to be there, it was really emotional. But tinged with sadness because of your yeah. oh, beautiful co-stars We passing. lost Ed, Ed Herman, and, Ed Herman. and uh, you could just feel his presence everywhere, because yeah. he, he was the kind of person who always just filled up a room. He so, sure did. Alexis, did you guys all sort of keep in touch over the years, or did everyone sort of splinter off, and now it's time to come back together, so you were like, hey, what's been going on for seven years? <laughs> uh, no, we certainly kept in touch, and there were periodic conversations about potentially doing this that yeah. we, you know, we couldn't have anticipated we'd get a chance to actually do it. But, um, no, we, we would talk, you know, over the years and um, see each other. So, you always it, see each other at events, too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. But it was still, there was still a lot of catching up to do. I mean, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Kelly, did you worry that, um, you know, it was such a magical time? Did you think to yourself, wow, if we try to reboot this and it doesn't go over well, should we have just left well enough alone? No, I didn't, because I'd been wanting to do this. Yeah. I'd been badgering Amy for years. The original Get them founder. To do, it. Why? Why? do a movie. Yeah. We should do a movie. I mean, I was so jealous of Sex in the City. I went, they got a movie. <laughs> we have a movie. We need a movie. And so then finally, Finally, they got two, happened. actually. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Hello. Well, we've got four chapters. There you go. Uh, so, um, no, I, I, I was just so excited about we it. We didn't and get I, to finish it with Amy, so it, it always felt fun. like we'd been left yeah. in midair a little bit. negotiations or yeah. something yeah. weird yeah. like yeah. that. It's, yeah. a, it's a little weird, because the way people watch TV now, and some people have already binged it, like, you can sit down and, and, and you're watch here promoting it. the yeah. whole yeah. Megillah. <laughs> um, what do you think of the way people are, are watching are watching things now? Uh, the creator of our series, Amy Sherman Palladino, so wanted uh, Netflix to release them one at a time yeah. because we all come from a time where you look forward to the next one and, yes. and you wait. sort of, you know, yeah, digest you can taste the it. first one. Right. Um, but this leaves it up to fans, and, and so you can kind of do it the way you like to do it. This is an impatient civilization. Yes. Yes. We want everything it instantaneously. It's, it's, Kelly, what do you think? It's the computer age. That's what yeah. it is. It's, mm. It sort of started with the jet age. I'm older than you are. And then <laughs> you look better, so you win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, I, I, we are. We're, our, our, our attention span is very short. Yeah. But at the same time, I've noticed with young people, younger people, yeah. um, they grasp very quickly. The things that took us like, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. They go, oh, yeah, I got, got it. it like and then they're, they're mm -hmm. moving on. Yeah. So. What, what do you think, Alexis, it is about this particular show that captivated people years ago and is captivating people again today. What is it about it? Um, oh, I think that now it's particularly comforting uh, given the times we live in, but um, it always had this very comforting feel. Um, the town that we live in is just a place where everyone supports each other and is kind and uh, helps each other out. So that's something that I think is just timeless and you can always go back to it. And those kinds of communities still exist. Of course. Right. When you live on the East Coast, it's kind of hard to remember that exists on Almost at, well, in most of the country. Yeah. yeah. And usually you need tension, like a horrible guy or somebody who everybody hates. But that wasn't part of the drill with your show at all. It never was. Our show is always about kind of sparkly dialogue and actually people having a certain amount of joy. The loss of Ed did give the story a little more weight Probably this does. time because um, we're all dealing with uh, that that loss in, in our I'm own sure ways. Really and um, so I think it was perfect for the format to come back at a 90 minute episode, it needed something a little more cinematic um, and, uh, and, and, and something with a little more weight to it. So when this ends, at the end of these episodes, if you've binge watched and you see the very end, is there a period on it 
or is there a hope <laughs> is there a that question? there's she more wants the question mark. Mark. <laughs> there's an ellipsis. So I was had to be in the business about like 40 years. I went, oh, what is that? Oh, the dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we learned something new today. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Do we have time to take one question from our fans? We have we had a bunch of fans who wanted to ask a question. Let's hear one. Oh, they're on the card? Oh, we're reading them? Oh, I thought they were is, going to. No, That's this is sad. Very difficult for us. We <laughs> got glasses. You, you got one? All right, Greg from Sacramento wants to know, if you had to play another character on the show, who would you want to play? Oh, a different character. If you had to character. switch characters. I would, Emily. I mean, Emily. Emily. Got some really? Good stuff. Both I couldn't do it though. I'm too like. Hey, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe me saying no, Joy. <laughs> yeah. I think we each kind of have He's a so part into... that we're very right for. It's very hard to switch. Yeah. One more question. Ray from Arkansas asks, "Do you get to keep the outfits that you wear?" No, we give them back. Do you, do you want to keep them? Some of them. <laughs> Lorelai wore some wacky stuff yeah. in this last one. I'm not sure. You guys I love are it so happy. happy for we you are all to be so reunited. Thrilled. Thank you. Thanks for coming to hang Thank out. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.